Center Operations Capacity Planning and Management video series. This is video two, Drill Down and Alerts. My name is Ben Shear, and I am a member of the product team for vCenter Operations here at VMware. Also note our Twitter handle, at vCenter Ops. This is the second of four videos that dive deeper into the capacity planning and optimization capabilities of vCenter Operations version 5. Please use the direct URLs or access the YouTube channel to look at the other videos in this series. Also, for more information on the vCenter Operations Management Suite, please consider the following two videos vCenter Operations Version 5 Introduction with Kit Colbert, and the vCenter Infrastructure Navigator Overview with myself, or access the VMware.com homepage in the URL listed on this page. So without further ado, let's begin. So let's drill into uh, time remaining, and I can go ahead and click on the badge. So you see a f familiar interface for those who have uh, use the Capacity IQ product in the past. So we see a number of views here actually on the top, and these views actually indicate uh, uh, various views within your environment, again, indicative of this particular host that I'm clicked on right now. And I can look at all the views across this particular gallery. Time remaining, capacity, stress, waste, and density, or all views. You can single those out again by just clicking on which ones make sense. Also, you can organize them uh, according to title type description. So if I want to see all my types and start up at the top and then of course scroll down. For example, I want to see a simple view of my virtual machine inventory in this case. I can pull that report up very quickly. Let's go back to the dashboard, talk a little bit about efficiency before we dr drill into risk even further. So efficiency represents how we can optimize our system. So these are supported, this main badge, the efficiency badge is supported by two sub badges, reclaimable waste and density. Reclaimable waste shows you a percentage of the total capacity that can be reclaimed. So in this case, it's we have 99% reclaimable waste. It means we have a lot of opportunity to actually right size this. I'm going to click on another cluster. And this is a, a cluster that has a little more activity going on it. So you can see overall the efficiency rating is 38%. Um, the, the higher in the number, the better. Obviously, the more efficient you are, the better. And you can see in this graph right here, we see that uh, we have a 94% waste. Uh, we have a little stress on the system, and we have, we're optim about 5% optimized. So right here, it tells us where our opportunities are. 40% vCPUs, so we can uh, reclaim some of those vCPUs. Uh, we can reclaim. Uh, optimally 2.8 terabytes of disk and 187.6 gigabytes of V memory. Obviously laid out in a nice pie graph as well. Furthermore, density tells you how much you can get out of your systems given the average workload and also given the behavior. Again, this is based on the analytics both from capacity planning and management with the underlying analytics, behavioral analytics built into vCenter Operations Manager. So what is the density? Uh, right now we're looking at about 16 to 1 density. That's a pretty good host VM to host ratio. And vCenter Operations is actually telling you we can go optimally up to almost 60 to 1 uh, VM to host ratio. Furthermore, vCPU to CPU and vMemory to memory. So actually, let's dig in more into the capacity and management features within vCenter Operations Management beyond the dashboard. So if you look at the top, right at the dashboard, I can go into planning. Uh, alternatively, you can just pick or choose one of the badges themselves and click right on it, as I had done earlier. 
So you can see a number of things that uh, within the planning tab that is very consistent with the rest of the capabilities within vCenter Operations Manager. As you can see, I had clicked on the Views tab prior. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Summary tab. So you're going to see that we can actually get some really good information at your fingertips uh, very quickly. So in these, the Summary tab, for example, uh, I can select what objects that I want to take a look at in a, in a perspective of time and forecast within capacity, in capacity management, as well as resources. So simple reports uh, that are included right on the screen that show you uh, different aspects within your uh, planning environment. So we can look at some tr trending. Uh, based on the greater than a year capabilities within this particular cluster, uh, what has our trend been, and that type of thing. Next thing I'm going to jump over to is alerts. Now this is something that's completely new within vCenter Operations 5. So what we've done with capacity planning and management uh, from Capacity IQ up to vCenter Operations is the ability to provide alerts. Now, the capabilities of this go hand in hand with our ability to actually score on alerts, right? So the badges themselves. So our ability to actually uh, score these badges uh, and then have an alert correspond with that. Now, one again, one nice thing about vCenter Operations is all the thresholding and alerting is dynamic. So there's, there's really minimal configuration. You can actually go in and, and tweak some of the uh, look and feel. So if you want, for example, a uh, badge to uh, turn a different color when it hits a certain threshold, you can do that. And it's just a sliding scale here within the configuration. So you look again uh, within the alerts, I can filter those down by type. Uh, just by clicking, of course, one of the badges up here. So if the filter, if you just want to look at, for example, uh, you know, your risk alert, which is new, and or into time remaining, or I can look at all the efficiency alerts. This may be a little better depicted at looking at the overall environment. So another thing you may have noticed as well within vCenter Operations 5, as well as in the capacity planning and management capabilities, is that we've added storage into the equation. So for capacity planning and management, storage actually becomes a first class citizen. And this is something new that we had not seen in previous versions of Capacity IQ. So this brings in a whole new dimension into your capacity planning uh, and management for your virtual environment. Uh, so it's very important to understand that the, the level we're actually able to get data uh, from vCenter and be able to provide that in the dimension of uh, the analytics we use on both the, the planning and within the behavioral side. Next thing I'm going to jump right over to reports. But one thing you note, uh, for a previous VC operations user, we have added and enhanced on reports. And we've added reports in VC operations manager version 5, but we have also enhanced upon what we've had uh, within the capacity IQ product as well. And this is something that is just capability now built in or integrated into the, the single console. Now, so go back to planning. I also want to jump over to all metrics. Now these are all the metrics that we actually collect from vSphere. Uh, again, tens of thousands of metrics. This gives you the ability, again, to drill down at the metric level. So even though we provide a, an easy interface that actually um, gives you a, an overall view of your environment based on analytics, we still provide you the ability to go down in a, a deeper level. And if you notice, capacity remaining is actually a subcategory uh, within this. And you can actually drill down then into the different categories that provide uh, detailed information within your environment. So in the case of capacity IQ, you see that these metrics right here are what are called answer metrics. They're not raw metrics, as you may 
be able to divulge down here into the individual metrics that, that are being fed to vCenter operations by vSphere itself. But these are based on the analytics, so we can look at different uh, answer metrics based on different resources. And again, this is capacity analytics being brought into VC operations. So again, if I go to planning views, all views and I look at for example virtual machine capacity you actually see that the metrics that were fed into the prior screen were are now into this particular view so we look at the total capacity total deployed powered on remaining etc all right so Kind of getting the understanding of the premise of, of how we're getting data in and how the analytics work a little bit i'm going to go back to alerts so we looked at this earlier and i explained that this is actually a new feature uh, that we have not seen in previous previous versions of capacity iq and let's explore what the alerts actually mean uh, but first of all let's go back to the configuration menu now you notice that uh, we do have the capabilities now to do uh, alert management. So you may want to alert on certain aspects of your environment as they result into essentially what you want to look for and what you want to be uh, notified of. So next we'll drill back into alerts. Uh, let's look at some of these a little more in depth. So what I'm going to do is go over to the capacity alerts right here, and I'm actually going to filter it down by time remaining on this particular world view. So I'm going to look at a cluster. How about uh, cluster A has 22 days? And I'm going to go ahead and pull up that alert. So you're going to notice uh, as compared to even the Capacity IQ product, we provide a lot more detail in the alert. So this is actually pretty detailed and informative data which helps you make good decisions on obviously forecasting and planning. And this data again is sent as an alert. So it gives you the pinpoint data and you look at even the prediction that we made in the body of this alert, as well as the data that backs it up. So you can see as in the context of the overall UI, this is uh, really complementary. Now you notice that I did have the time remaining badges Let's actually filter this down to stress. We'll look at the stress on this particular cluster. And you can see for this particular alert, uh, we highlight the stress heat map as I showed earlier on the dashboard. And then giving you the data to back up uh, stress areas within your environment so you can appropriately plan. So that gives you a good overview of the alert capabilities within vCenter Operations version 5, also as they relate uh, specifically to uh, capacity management. Obviously, there's a lot more depth and detail to go into these, but uh, for the nature of this video, gives the viewers of what's capable within the VMware solution. So thank you for viewing part two of this four-part video series. Remember to view the rest of the videos by accessing the following URLs or through the VMware YouTube channel. Thank you again, and this is Ben Shear signing off.